All right. Okay, good. Let us. Let us. Let us. Not let us. Let us. Let's move on, shall we? All right. <clears throat> So, the mages and... Well, actually, the pilots might be open. Right? I was gonna say, you're still hungry? Go eat! You're, but you're on the way, so... I'll gather up all that stuff later, no big deal. I think the pilots should be open. Because I don't think the pilots... I think you can use the, uh, you can use the pilots pretty much... I got another prestige? Oh, right, because I gained another person, and apparently they're only a one star. I really... Yeah, closed after now. Okay, fine. Um, You know what? I really ought to... Take a quick look at this. And just see how and where I might be able to improve myself here. So... All right. The revolution. And we're, wow, we've added yet another. I'm going to bust out my thing here uh, and, and, and bust out my list here. So I know for sure I need Hypnofish, Biclopus, Cucumber Squid, Surimi, Unicorn Bacon, and Depth Crab. We know this for sure. So, and of course we need just the highest... Uh, the, the, the highest spirit we possibly can, the highest sophistication we can, and the highest vigor we can. So, Biclopus, gotcha. And these guys are five for five. They're happy. Cucumber squid. Food is good for a nice rest. Decoration is pretty sweet. It's almost perfect. Uh, maybe I just need a more powerful cucumber squid dish. We'll look into that. Surimi. Again, three stars. I'll bet I need a better surimi dish. So let's just see what that's done. Sophistication, we're, we're fine. Unicorn bacon. So we already knew unicorn bacon was a thing. Clearly we need a better... Please improve the food. We need a better unicorn bacon dish. So... Uh, again, unicorn bacon. So if I can do, like, unicorn bacon... We're 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 doing great. Breaded spider leg. That's new. Let me add that to the to the list. Breaded spider leg. So I'm gonna need to come up with some uh, uh, come up with a dish that uses breaded spider leg somewhere. Nice furniture. Shame about the food. They want hypno fish. So again, I need a hypnofish dish. The fishermates are happy. I can't believe they actually uh, this guy actually wants more vigor. That's crazy. Uh depths crab. Okay, so again, we could probably do a little bit better for depths crab. Maybe just need to have uh more vigor there. Uh, this guy's happy spirit. He likes it. Uh, Jesus wants special dough. I do have a dish with special dough. Maybe it could be better. Uh, we've, we've maxed out the old port. We need to keep going with Culinarum and Nyarian. So really, the only way we can... I mean, we basically just need to go and we need to make something with breaded spider leg... Something better with Hypnofish. So let's just take a look at our meals over here. All right. We have... This doesn't cover any of the ones on our list, but is, is that our spirit dish? Because I can do better in that now. I can 100% do better in that now. Yeah, so that doesn't cover any of the ones on this list. So I can probably replace this with a better dish. Depths crab. This is our depths crab. They really like it, but they want it better. And they said it had just enough 
Oh, wait, no, because the other one's the Vigor. Okay, so never mind. So we need to think Depth's Crab. Depth's Crab is a lot of Vigor. Why did I go... Why, why, did, why did I go Spirit on this? I don't know. Uh, okay, there's our Cucumber Surimi and Unicorn Bacon. I can definitely do better than this. As a matter of fact, since they want breaded spider leg, I'm pretty sure I can do a unicorn bacon spider leg combination with something else. That would do a hell of a lot better than this. So we can do better than this. Let's think. Let, let's think beyond that. I have a linked box there. Yeah, yeah. Jacket potato. This is our biclopis and special dough. We can... 100% do better than this. 100% do better than this. This is our Vigor dish. So this is our big Vigor. Everybody's liking the Vigor with the exception of we need to do better a better job on that Depth Crab Vigor. And of course, this is our big... Um, our our big name for the for the sophistication. I'm positive we can do better than this. The question is, in the linked box, where's my linked box? In the linked box, do I have any of my sauces? Because if I don't have any sauces, then it's kind of a moot point. But if I have it, what is this? Yeah, it's the linked container. Yeah, see, I don't have any of my sauces in here. I have all the recipes, I just need the sauces, because I had planned... Oh shoot, I was going to sell... I forgot, I was going to bring... I was going to have... I was going to um, do my selling today, I even put some stuff in Birch. Oops. Uh, oh, this is to upgrade our restaurant. Yeah, 50,000 mosquitoes. So I just need another 25 grand to do this. I'm sure I can do that. And do I actually have business to attend? I don't think I do. Uh, I mean, if nobody's got a problem with our with our decor. I think we're fine. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> if I could name these dishes, I would, but. All right, uh, flying machine and mages. So let's go up here. Uh, flying machine is right here. All right, hello, fellas. How you do? Oh. Hey, Zest, good to see you. Hi, Adriv. Uh, I was wondering if you could lend me a hand. Say no more. It's about a grand combat against those mages. Well, yes, it is. Of course, we'll help you out, Zest. We've been wanting uh, wanting those Posh uh, Poshians removed from the throne for years now. How fitting that a friend of ours is going to be the one to do it, and that we'll be helping. Glad to see some enthusiasm. What do you want us to do, then? We're going to hunt a dragon. Uh... That would be a pretty direct way to fight global worming, don't you think? Uh... You're crazy! But we'll help you out! If you come up with a decent plan. Well, you know what they say about the people who follow crazy people around. That we might be waiting for an excuse to stop following them? Okay, point taken. We'll meet at my place when I have everything ready. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't quite have the, uh, the money to upgrade. I am working on it, though. I am working on it. Uh, mages. Mages, 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 mages. There we go. Good day, mages. Hey, Valerica. 
Hey, you finally managed to get it right. What's up? Well, a lot. You see, recently we were involved in a little... Yes, you have a duel with the Festumanchers coming. Everyone knows. I see. Saves a lot of explaining. That's good. Too much talk lately. I'll be happy to help you out. And I'm sure the jerks downstairs will insist on helping as well. Why? Because if there's one thing they despise more than independent mages, it is successful independent mages. This might be true, but technically we shouldn't get involved in this one. Why? Festive practitioners like the Festumanchers help normalize the use of magic amongst the population. One of the main necessities of the imperative is bringing humanity to fully embrace magic. So having a couple of mages as the leaders of cuisine is a fortunate situation. Might bring people to see magic as less of a threat. A lie, of course. Magic is still a dangerous and powerful force. But at least they help bring people closer to accepting it. So you can't help? Well, might be a bit frowned on by our superiors, but we can argue that the Festumanchers have become too elitist and are counterproductive or something like that. Deep down, most Infinigon mages kind of hate them, so I don't think anyone will complain if we help you, uh, if we lend you a hand. Great. So, what is it then? I need to hunt a dragon, and I've been told that I can find one in the ruins near my home. I need some help to overcome the magic bar uh, magical barriers. You're crazy. Hey, that's quite something coming from them, Zest. You should be proud of yourself. I thought you could help. I've seen you vaporize an unspeakable horror with a finger snap. Literally. A dragon is a very different matter, Zest. The last time the Infinigon fought one of those, our criterion had to get pretty extreme. So you won't help? Fortunately, it's very unlikely that there's a dragon in those ruins. So we'll humor you and dispel the barrier. Might find something interesting in there. Fantastic, then. We'll meet at the ruin. Mm-hmm. We're good. <coughs> oh, goodness. Water. Hydration is good. All right. And talk to the soldier. There's a soldier at the restaurant door. Hope we're not in trouble. Wait, there is? There's a soldier at our restaurant's door? Oh, hi. Uh, hello, Private Nostro. Zest? Yes? I have an order from the captain. An order? Yes, we need some food delivered to the Port Authority. Ah, that kind of order. What'll it be? I don't think they care all that much, as long as it's balanced and with intense flavors. Plus 50 in all stats. Five dishes will do. All right, I'll see what I can do. We'll be waiting for you at the Port Authority. Okay, and delivery package. I should prepare dishes that are balanced and with intense flavor. Ah, okay, so I need to put it here. Okay, five well-balanced, powerful dishes waiting, uh, ready for the guard order at the restaurant terrace delivery crate. Okay. And I need five of them. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and Keon has redeemed hydrate, so everybody take a moment and hydrate. Thank you very much for keeping me hydrated. And Greg has activated the stretch. So everybody take a moment and stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you for keeping me stretched. And Holy has activated the sing. So let me go ahead and turn on my 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 timer here. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get another drink here. I'm not gonna be very in voice here today. I'm I'm, I'm a little I'm a little <coughs> today. <clears throat> breathing is good. Breathing breathing is very um <clears throat> very very helpful. All right. And now I must sing everything I say. Prepare the order. Should I do this one first? Or should I hunt the dragon? I think perhaps I'll do the dragon first. I just think it'll be better. Let's go and hunt the dragon. And you'll be worth a lot of money if I can make a really good spirit dish. Because you're always wanting spirit, right? Let me verify. Uh, yes, he wants the spirit. And I've got some pretty amazing spirit dishes. As a matter of fact, I could probably do that right now. I've been wanting to test this anyway. It was this and this and this. Uh, and we need some spider silk. I've got a lot of spider silk in the other. Uh, let's grab it here. I want to try this. I think it'll be a very powerful dish. I'll put it in the restaurant. Wait. Do I want to put this in my restaurant? Hmm. I thought maybe... Why would I use this? Possibly I could remove... My spirit, my... Oh, I know how I could do it. I'm going to give this a try. I'm pretty certain this is going to be... Quite amazing. All right. So the plan is to start with rice pasta. We let that go ahead and age. We completely develop the flavors. Or do I start with this and develop there and then throw in this? I think that might be the proper way. I'll throw in this. No. I'll start with this. Then I'll throw in this. And I'll throw in this. And I'll begin stirring like mad. And we'll see how that works. I'm pretty sure that'll work. And drop that in. And drop that in. And put in this. Bounce that a couple of times and begin stirring like mad. Stir and stir and stir. Bounce, stir and stir and stir. Stir it all around. Bounce, stir it all around. Quit popping. Quit popping. That did not work out. Damn. It didn't work the way I thought it would. But this still should be pretty amazing. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I promise Rhinoxy I'll do that, but this one is over soon. So singing and grunting will overlap and it'll really be quite uni. But I could. Hold one moment. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm in this pun. And now I must pun everything I can. 
And I will sing along And it was wonderful Oh, let's start with him And let's turn And stir and turn And let's get some work That's not planned I think we need a front team, I mean, you know, phantom relish. Hmm. What went wrong? Sally, what went wrong? Oh, I don't need it. I don't need to see anymore. That's all we time. Oh, a lot of aroma. Hmm. I did this wrong. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Oh, uh, huh? hold on. However, it's all right. I mean, it all works on the bench. I mean, at least you know one. Oh, that's all right. I just might as well take that right down. It's fine. Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh. I'll come out right here. Oh, grab all that. Hmm. Uh, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can. I can do it. I will need. I will need. I will need a will. All of this. And when I was in this. Uh-huh. Um. Right. I can do the bell. I do. I I ain't. I didn't. I didn't do it wrong. I didn't do it wrong. I can do this. I can. I can. I need it. Mm -hmm. Alright. This time. Right there. Come in! What? What? No, no, snap! There we go. Put that in. Let's do this. 
Hey, hi everyone. How are you? Today, we are going to hunt a dragon. What's the run? A man symbol. First, the Pentagon is going to get rid of the dragon seal. I love the dragon seal. There is anything like the red in the kit. No one can fax with it without a wait. Must have been very quiet a hundred, hundred years ago. But no one in this very Alright, time's up. Thank you for activating the grunting lion. You probably just upset a lot of people who are like, Why can't I hear the talking? Sorry. This is what happens when things happen. <laughs> well, you're not speaking that smoother. This is talking that smoother. Precious. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> you think so, eh, geeks? This barrier was powered by my own death. You will have a very bad day if you try a brute force approach. I bet it won't last five minutes. We don't even need to be careful this time. It'll be quite a spectacle when the ward bounces all that arrogance right back into your faces. Let's get back to the plan. Once the door is open, Agorius, the Infinagon, and I will head into the ruins and shoo the dragon out. Then Hadrieve and Petronius should be ready to... Wait a minute. What do you mean, shoo the dragon out? Well, I guess we'll startle it so it leaves the dungeon. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, we might cause some ruckus? Or maybe lure it out somehow? So, your plan is something along the lines of facing a 16-ton, fire-breathing lizard, rubbing your fingers together and going... Meow? <laughs> he wasn't talking to you, kiddo. Well, a triangle of the Infinagon will be down there as well. I'm sure we'll come up with something. I wouldn't worry too much. I don't know what we'll find down there, but it won't be a dragon at all. Why not? Dragons may be quite magical, but they are not demons. They can't survive locked underground for temperous knows how many centuries. Could be an undead dragon. Why are you so convinced that there was ever a dragon down there anyway? Look at that statue, man. There has to be a dragon. The Imperial Palace had a statue of a lion in the courtyard. It doesn't mean there's a lion waiting inside. There totally was a lion, though. There was a lion? It, there was a lion in the Imperial Palace. For two or three weeks, at least. It was so the sculptor could have a reference for the statue. We were part of the expedition who captured it in Zun and brought it to the palace. Couldn't they have used a drawing? She did use a drawing. So... Well, the drawings, uh, the drawing artist needed a reference as well. Taxpayer money at its finest. That's not the point anyway. The lion statue was not there to pay homage to the blasted lion. How do you know? Maybe they grew fond of him. I'm sure they did, but they didn't build a statue to show there was a lion inside. But there was for two or three weeks. The statue was there because there was a lion inside. So you're saying that they erected a statue of the lion they used as a model for the statue in order to commemorate the fact that the lion was in the palace while they were sculpting the statue. No, wait, he's got a point. He's talking about ca uh, causal necessity, not the intent. If there hadn't been a lion in the building, there wouldn't be any lion statue. So the lion being in the building was a necessity in order to have the statue. Ergo, the statue proves the lion. 
Cause of necessity, my ass. They could have bought a lion statue on Krovos instead of dragging a poor cat halfway around the world. But it wouldn't be that statue. Even so, the statue was not there to imply there was a living lion in the palace! Even if there had been a lion inside at some point! Which, we could say there was a symbolic lion, though. As in, uh, the Emperor, or his authority, or something like that. Fine. If we find a symbolic dragon, we'll exercise some symbolic caution to protect ourselves from its symbolic danger. Fair enough. Just in case the dragon is not so symbolic, what do we do? Oh, well, when it comes out of the ruin, uh, Hadrieve and his guys will be waiting. They will shoot the dragon down using their airship. You want to take a dragon down using an aero taxi? Oh, <coughs> when, uh, wait, <laughs> I, uh, I have to... <laughs> there's, too many, there's too many voices here. Okay, hold on. <coughs> um... Shoot, I forgot his voice. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on his voice. Um, oh, we're not using the Sputnik. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was his voice? It was like French or something, right? Oh, we're not using... I keep wanting to go into Scottish! <laughs> you need a drink. <laughs> you know, if there were a director at this point, he'd be yelling, CUT! Ah, the joys of live streaming. Okay. <laughs> We're not using the Sputnik for this. We've we've got some Why can't I do French right now? I've got a terrible French accent. I have an outrageous French accent. There we go. We've got something far more fitting for the occasion. <laughs> Great timing. That's very, uh, Final Fantasy there. <laughs> Behold the prosaic, the ultimate response against global warming. You loaded, <clears throat> you loaded the Magicka powered cannon into that thing? Yes. You installed a Magicka powered cannon at the side of a non Magicka powered flying ship. Yes. You realize that if you shoot it as it is, you will establish a wor new world record for the most consecutive barrel rolls in history. Hydrate. That might be a fair point. We may want to move the cannon to the front. <sighs> Prancers and ar ar arcanophobes teaming up. You pose more danger to yourself than any dragon would. Hey! Jala, don't be a jerk. I'm sure they worked real hard to build that flying... thing. Hard enough to make it fly without resorting to your damned crystals. It shows. We will show you all right by taking down a dragon with it. I'm sure you'll be able to take care of any dragons we encounter today. We'll even pretend you're not using a magical cannon. Damn it, Jala. Tone down the snarkiness, will you? I'm going to get us chased out of another village. Okay, okay. We didn't come here to insult each other, so let's just go to the seal. You guys prepare the ship and stand by. Yeah. 
Yes, I think that was a ghost. So you're as surprised about this as we are? Why didn't you comment on it? I don't know. Why didn't you comment on it? Everyone was so natural about the whole thing that it felt inappropriate. Well, I guess it would be awkward to bring it up now. <clears throat> Why do I get the feeling we're about to have like one hell of an episode here? <laughs> this is about to, I get the feeling this is about to get really funny. Let's see what we have here. You won't be able to dismantle it. I bet we won't even need to deviate from the standard procedure. Keep bragging. You're only sweetening the anticipation of your imminent failure. Well, we do have some bragging rights. The Infinigon has breached into so many magically protected dungeons that we've developed a pretty effective methodology. Zest, please stop poking at the grip. glyph. It could be dangerous. Move out of the way so we can proceed with an initial Magicka scan. Then we'll determine what kind of equipment is needed. Sure? Don't take it too bad, okay? The fact that you've managed to construct a seal that lasted so long is quite impressive. You don't take it too bad when you can't open it. That thing is tied to my blood, and nothing other than that shall open it. Yeah, well, it's not like we're going to follow the rules. Helius, carry on with the preliminary scan. <laughs> Looks like someone didn't account for entropic decay when casting his dramatic self-sacrificial spell. I so did account for entropic decay. Yeah, right. And I'm sure you also used a recursive resontium crystal to keep the loop active. I used two! No reason to be ashamed. <laughs> exactly. You know? <laughs> no part... Uh, no reason to be ashamed. Ashamed. You did well for an independent mage. Hey, and the part that you bound... To, uh, that bound you to the painting seems to have worked pretty well, eh? And it's still holding. <laughs> so spooky. <laughs> Don't you dare patronize me! Not everyone was lucky enough to have the Imperial Treasury founding their every whim. The Imperial Treasury is just history now. Pretty much like your ward. <sighs> Look on the bright side, Agorius. At least the path is open, eh? I... Huzzah. He was so proud of that. <laughs> How deep can these stairs go? It feels like we've been here for hours. We're almost there. We're pretty close to where I lost consciousness. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's his dead body. <laughs> Is that you? It would seem so. You seem to be surprised. You seem surprised to see your remains, considering you must have known what went down in here. I always thought I died because of a cave in. More like you got carved in. Hey, it's his corpse for the love of Temperus. Give the man a rest. Being jerky is one thing, but that right now is a bit into monster territory, Yala. All right, all right. Sorry about your um, loss. It's all right. I'm kind of used to it at this point. I'm not thrilled to discover that my hirelings betrayed me. But at least they were trapped in here by the ward when the spell kicked in. Serves them right. 
So, is there a dragon around? If there was a dragon in the room, you wouldn't need to ask, but let's take a good look. A little light, please. Well, well, what do we have here? A portal. This is what I've been looking for all my life. A gate to the realm of the gods. Finally, the answers are at hand. You've been looking for this all your life. And part of my own life, yes. Well worth it for this truly revolutionary discovery. Oh boy. You really haven't been paying much attention for the last few decades, have you? I've been quite isolated for the last century. Being a disembodied spirit doesn't do wonders for your social life. Well, I'm sorry, but I'll need to be blunt. A finding like this portal would have been revolutionary about 20 years ago. What? What do you mean? About 15 years ago, these things started coming out of the ground all around the world. They began spewing all kinds of monsters. Monsters? Very aggressive. They overran the Temperian Empire and started going after everyone else. It was grim. For a while, it felt like it was the end. Eventually, we managed to... solve the situation. It's a long story. <clears throat> so... You mean there are not any meaningful answers behind this gateway? If anything, they've generated one hell of a lot of questions. But we can tell you that these portals are pretty much common knowledge now. Then... All was pointless. Uh, it's one of the reasons the Infinagon frowns upon solitary research and wizards keeping petty secrets. Yes, the generous Infinagon. You are very good at sharing knowledge within the borders of your own organization. We classify dangerous knowledge to protect the general public. No, you do it because it gives you power. You don't care about protecting the people. You care about your damn imperative. They're one and the same. So you say, of course. This way you might convince a few poor sods to surrender their lifelong efforts to you and to step aside while you reap the results of their hard work and sacrifice. Is this about ego, then? Your findings would have, uh, have created a new field of research a hundred years before the disaster. Your name and merits would have been in the history books. The desperate stand could have been a joke. Instead, all your knowledge and breakthroughs died with you. And what could have been a revolutionary discovery is now obsolete. All because you expected to be the only one to find... What? True immortality? Godhood? Oh. I'm sorry, but I think you're being unfair. Oh, really? Then what was he after? Answers, like everyone else, but we all look for answers in our own way. There's no standardized form to find meaning to life. And you certainly have no right to monopolize, monopolize human curiosity. For a bunch of people who constantly claim to be defending humanity, you sure can be obtuse when it comes to understanding it. He could have put all of that effort at the service of a greater cause, and we would all have benefited from it. How do you know that? Maybe within your organization he would have achieved all those things you're saying. Or maybe his spirit would have withered and he would have become a useless chump. His life path brought him to the verge of a world-changing discovery. He played by his own rules, and it set him on the right track. And I'm pretty sure that he was on the right track because he played by his own rules. Maybe within the Infinagon, he would have been pushing papers all his life. Instead, he found his path and he followed it through. It just happened to be a solitary path, but it was his to follow. The way I see it, it's pretty much all that can be asked of us. Hmm. 
I might owe you an apology. Save it. I'm no saint. You don't need to feel sorry about me. And thank you, Zest, but that doesn't change the fact that I gambled and lost everything. But enough pity. You should focus on your own struggle. You still need that dragon. You did say there was a dragon down here, but I don't see any trace of the thing. <clears throat> and I didn't lie. What I learned from this place implied there was a gate to a world where the dragons and the gods reside. As far as I understand, it's related to the portal. I don't know about the, go uh, the gods, but some of these portals have been known to bring dragons into our world, yes. However, they all shut down after that mess years ago. Even partially reactivating one requires immense amount of work, so, uh, work and magical energy. It's not something we can do. At least not without a grand scale effort that would simply not be approved. Not for a cooking tournament. Is it the only way? Well, it's either that or we use a control artifact from the original creators of the portal, which have never been found. And while the portals themselves are common, controlling them effectively is cur currently impossible. That would be one hell of a breakthrough. I see. Well, not quite the triumph I was expecting. Zest, I trust you are carrying the artifact with you? The artifact? Wait. Are you implying that you have a Zenithian control device? Well, Agorius found this wand long ago. He says that- DON'T POINT THAT THING IN THE- Uh-oh. Did we just kill Agorius? Uh... What just happened to Agorius? What did we just do? They have been talking, uh, uh, they're talking or uh, taking a while. Maybe the mages were right and there's no dragon after all. Perhaps it's for the better. Wait, that was... Dear Tempress, we've seen this before, back at the capital. But this one felt a bit different. Yeah, maybe, maybe this time nothing will- <laughs> We're dead! The dragon! It's the dragon! Keep it in sight! Get ready to fire the cannon! We've got it in the sights! Wait for it to get closer. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We're on the dragon! Steady! No, 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 no! Don't fire! <laughs> Steady! Fire! <laughs> uh. <laughs> it. It doesn't work! What? That shockwave must have messed up the magicka field! The dragon! <laughs> run, guys, run! What? What is going on up there? Are they fighting a dragon? Not our problem. At least not yet. But this leaves the house unguarded. Let's use this chance to recover the book. Goddamn mages and your contraptions! Do, do something, damn it! You're a blasted witch, fix this! I'm trying, but this is Infinigon tech. I'm a bit in the dark here. Why didn't we stay on the ground? We could have stayed on the ground. I'm gonna throw up. I think I fixed the cannon! Turn to face the dragon! Wait! You idiots! You're gonna kill us all! I don't think they even know we're here! We have a clear shot! Fire!
did they just get? Did 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 they just get blown into the air and fired inside a dragon's ass? Wow. You know, I can honestly say I don't think of a I cannot think off my head of a worse way to die. To have an accidental explosive drop at your feet and you get blown firing god knows how high into the sky and bam into a dragon's backside Well, that was a mighty stellar performance. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. For a plan to come together, you need an actual plan to begin with. I'm going to call for reinforcements. We'll need at least two octagons of vectors to handle this. Are you sure we actually need them? I mean, look at the thing. Seems to be more confused than aggressive. You mean the dragon is not hostile? I would have expected a bit more fire breathing, that's for sure. Maybe this one is not like the one we found during the desperate stand. You know, it's not determined to kill everything in sight. I see. So, we might be able to come up with some way to handle it peacefully, maybe domesticate it? What did he say? He says you're crazy. You speak Nyarian? Just taking a wild guess. Well, we've got to do something. Bruce, brute force didn't go well. Maybe there could be a way to try a peaceful solution for a change. I'm all for being optimistic, but wrapping a flower garland around that thing's neck might be a bit tricky. Have faith. Come to the magic shop. Maybe we'll find a solution. Let's pray to Tempest that the thing doesn't decide to start a barbecue. Yeah. To Tempest of all people. What? Nothing. See you at the shop. On, on one hand, that was freaking hilarious. And on the other hand, all I can think is... Wow! The dragon seems hostile, wasn't, isn't hostile anymore. After three humans literally got fired into... Oh god, I don't even want to know where this is going. Please, for the love of God, tell me this isn't where that's going. I don't know. No, God. YouTube, please don't demonetize me. <laughs> this isn't an M-rated game, I swear. <laughs> wow. <coughs> uh... I, I just, I, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I got nothing. I, 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 I have nothing. Guys, I have nothing. I, what do you even say to this? What do you, what do you even say to this? People.
people literally just got fired up the yin yang of a dragon. I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. I, I don't even know where to, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to respond to that. This game has officially broke me. I, I don't, I, I don't even, I don't even know how to respond to that. How, how do you even respond to that? Wow. Three more. Yeah, yeah, you know what? His expression. Yeah, that's kind of me right now. I mean, I just, I did not see this game going that direction. I mean, I knew it was goofy and weird and bizarre and just absolutely just bananas at times. But I can honestly say that people being fired up the backside of a dragon was just not what I was expecting to see today. It wasn't. <sighs> well, I was actually kind of hoping for more Mandragora out of that, but I had to replace so much that we, we ended up with a whole whopping one and I accidentally made too many, so... Yeah, I ex exactly. <laughs> Alright, Keon, have a good one. <clears throat> just, just, wow. Just, 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 wow. I, I, I just, I have, I have no words. So, since I have no words, I'm I'm going to uh, I, I'm going to complete my 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 chores here. And and I'm gonna replace what what gets popped here. Let's see, one two potato, one potato, two potato, one carrot. One potato, two potato, one carrot. I... 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 I don't... I don't even... I... I don't. I... I've got nothing. I have nothing. I can honestly say I was not expecting to see people being fired up a dragon's ass today. Big bada boom. <laughs> that's 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 yeah. Bada big boom. Yeah, yeah boom. Big bada boom. Big, big boom bada bada boom. <clears throat> So maybe we should go fishing. Maybe it was a female dragon. Possibly. 
it, it, it's possible that instead of being fired up a dragon's yin yang, it went into a female dragon's hoo ha. That is not better. That that is that is that is not better. No. No, that that was that's that's not better. I've got nothing. I have nothing. I I can I can I can honestly say I, this game has broken me. <laughs> this game has broken me. I I I can't do commentary right now. The game has broken me. Game has broken me. <laughs> wow. Just, just, wow. Ladies, if you're offended by this, I apologize. Men, if you're offended by this, I apologize. I didn't know that's where we were going. you for that 100 bits speaker says thank you <sighs> anyway uh i think i'm gonna go ahead and get caught up on well actually no I, I do want to continue with my money, so I think I'm going to go shake some, shake up some trees here. <clears throat> and, and maybe one of the things that we'll be doing in, in the next episode is just trying to get all this stuff sold. I've got a ton of ghost potatoes that I can spare. I've got all this Irwin. So I, I'll be able to... Oh, and it looks like... Oh, good. We got a respawn. So at least I can gather up and still have some... Um, some more of the... Uh, <clears throat> The Mandragora. All right, come on over here, buddy. And I think we're full up here, right? This is full up. Yeah, that's full up. I, actually, I think we have so much that I can't even put all this in there. Yeah, we have so much we can't even put all that in. So how about we just put this, the rest of it right in here for the time being. And uh, we want to go gather up. <clears throat> the Mandragora. 
because I do want to get more of the bait. Um, I, I want to get as much of the bait as possible. Uh, looks like we have two of them we need to replace there. Three of them to replace. Three to replace. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, and three. Okay. And one, two, three. Three is all I want. All right. And boop, boop. One, and two. And three. All right. So those are done. How many have I got left? Okay, let me gather up a bunch of mushrooms. And I'm going to create a bunch of eight. Oop, wrong button. Come here, buddy. Gather up a bunch of bait. And then I am going to head to bed, I think. Make sure all this bait gets done. Because I think maybe tomorrow I might just do like a big fishing thing and, and, and get all this caught up here. Uh, okay, how many of these left? One of those. We'll do that. Let me let me gather up enough mushrooms to go ahead and make that make that a thing. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, boom. There we go. One, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, grab this. Come over here. Do this. Do that that there uh where am i putting my right there putting them all right here wow i didn't realize i had quite so many made okay so all right i think what i'll go ahead and do do i have anything final to do go to the mystic emporium the mages might be of something to tame the dragon I still need to prepare this order. Five well-balanced and powerful dishes. We'll get that done eventually. I think we'll I, I think we'll kind of work on that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. And then. I think tomorrow we might have a big fishing episode. And I will just fish and fish and fish and fish and fish. Good night.